are we close to a cure in for multiple myeloma and what are we close to a cure for multiple myeloma and what research areas are most promising for the future like what are you looking forward to in 2030 so I don't, that's hard to say, are we close to a cure? I think we're doing really good when it comes to multiple myeloma. Um, and we look at some of these um, uh, PFS and MRDs of getting up to, to 90%. I think that's impressive. Um, and um, the, the the thing I'm, I'm trying to understand is when is enough enough? So we started off with triplets and now we've gone to quadruplets like are we going to be using standard five drug therapies um are we going to be ultimately replacing stem cell transplant um as a a, a means of treatment that's that's what i want to see in the, the next you know 10 years what is going to be the standard of care um, we have so many new drugs that are always replacing the the old drugs and what does where does that leave the, the next player mm. Interesting. So how do you see clinical trial design and endpoints evolving, um, particularly with increasing MRD use and new therapy classes? So, um, you know, being a provider, we we learned that it was always about overall survival, progression-free survival. I think even more progression-free survival than overall survival for me. Um, but this MRD has has kind of been a surrogate um, for your OS and your your PFS. And so I think that MRD, particularly in the the heme world, in the myeloma world, um, I think that is going to be the the way that you're you're really uh, kind of focusing your trials. And is this really sustained response? Um, does this is this surrogate of what is actually happening in that bone marrow? Um, so I think f- for sure, uh, I think MRD is going to be kind of the the new wave and a, the way to go for years to come. Mm. And um, looking forward to things like clinical trial design, what do you think are some of the things that we can do to get more widespread participation in clinical trials as we move forward in research? I think one, it's you have to have more representation and it's not just representation in the patient level, but I think it's representation in the provider provider level too. Um, and, you know, I think, you know, for me, my, my goal is definitely to try to get more um, participation, especially in minorities uh, where you don't see much participation. Um, I think you just really have to have that community, uh, that communication, that trust with your patient. And, you know, many, many patients, they, they listen to their doctors. And so as long as you have that trust and you can be that voice, I think um, you should start to get more engagement. 